we had the state of play presentation of Sony PlayStation where they showcased some you no know, new upcoming titles not only exclusive titles first party titles but also some third party ones and in my opinion it wasn't a great presentation but also it, it wasn't terrible either i mean I, I got excited by you know some remastered stuff like as always the lunar games you no know, getting remastered was peak peak time of the presentation for me but this isn't what I want to talk about here in this video. During the presentation, they showed you no know, the, the last game that they showed was the upcoming. I think I think it's a sequel or maybe it's just a spin-off. I know I've seen some people call claiming in the social media you no know, over on X that might be a spin-off. But I'm talking about the next Ghost of Yote Yode something like this game. You no, know, uh, it's related to Ghost of Tsushima. A lot of people were you know, waiting for this game. And I think it's valid that the first one was a successful title. I still didn't finish it. I played for some time, but I had to move. You no, know, I was still in Brazil during the time and I lost my save. Thank you, PlayStation. Thank you for not you know, letting us save our, our progress in clouds, you know, unless you pay for the fucking PlayStation Network. Well, anyway, I digress. I'm just Want to talk about this you no know, this trailer because the trailer featured a woman a samurai female samurai from my understanding she's gonna be she's going to be a bounty hunter you know during those uh, medieval japanese times you no know? now i i just want to you know to state it very early in this video i am not a guy who has lots of knowledge about japanese history but i think it's very hard to believe that a woman could you know challenge guys to duels you no know, to katana duels you no know, with sword fights and actually defeat them and actually work as a bounty hunter especially during those times and why is this important in this kind of game well because part of the ghost of let's put it that way let's just call this franchise ghost of right anyway part of the appeal of this game is you no know, the fact that it has some historical accuracy you know the immersion it brings to the players you know you, you feel like you are really a, a, a samurai in those you no know, in, in that era japanese era and in my opinion in this sequel slash spin-off you no know, as, as as i said we don't know for sure yet in my opinion um playing as a female character kind of breaks the immersion at least for me and that is my problem with you no know, this upcoming game now i am not saying that the game is going to be woke okay we don't know for sure but you know we have some signs already of it for example the actress that is gonna play is going to play the protagonist of the game uh she preemptively blocked me on twitter probably because of my work with the sweet baby detected and everything i've been doing over the internet in the past months and this is never a good sign, you know, for you no know, in terms of you no know, not finding the AI games and the AI in the video games and whatsoever. Also, there is a fact that Sony has been partnering partnering, you no know, Sony Studios has been partnering with Sweet Baby Inc. for some time now. In fact, I got to learn about Sweet Baby Inc. for the first time ever through a Sony game, God of War Ragnarok. So the signs are there. And I'm not gonna lie, man, this uh, I, it really feel it really makes me feel like they made the decision to you know to add a female character a female protagonist in that game for you know um progressive reasons di reasons i mean whatever call call it the way you want feminist reasons woke reasons you know it really makes me feel like this though know? i know that some people have been claiming you know that hey uh we don't hate women in, in your video games we don't know we don't it, it is not about that we are not against women uh, as protagonists no female representation in video games and that's right i am not against that and in this case it's not about it no it's just that why why does every single franchise that no is is male centered let's put it that way right franchises that are you know first and foremost uh, male centered you no know, with male characters male teams and of course i mean obviously to appeal to you no know, male gamers why can't we have a franchise like this anymore i mean pretty much what 
Space Marine 2 just did, you know, like released earlier this month. And in my opinion, to this date, it is the best game of the year. I absolutely love that game. And wh why why can't we have more things like that? Why, why do we need to have women, female representation in every single franchise that come out in the gaming industry right now? I mean, um, these times, you know. I mean, if, if you take a look, you know, uh, if, you, if, you, if you make a retrospect in your mind and take a look at the latest uh, Sony games coming out of there, you know, by, by the main franchises, games like Uncharted, games like Ratchet & Clank, games like The Last of Us, you know, all of them kind of replaced, no, actually not kind of, that's literally what they did. They replaced their male characters, you no, know, their male protagonists, the, 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 the characters that are one of the main reasons of those franchises for being so successful in the past, in the last years, you know, and also helping PlayStation to establish itself as a, as a very well successful platform, they are being replaced by female characters, like all of them. I mean, except for Kratos, but dude, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, man, I won't, I won't be surprised if they do this, you know, in the upcoming uh, God of War game. I really won't be surprised. It's almost like, you know, they... They hate men, you know? But that's that's pretty obvious, don't you guys think? I mean, yeah, they, I mean everything that is male centered, especially if it's a straight white male, has to be purged, has to be erased and replaced by some minority female, if possible, you know. And so that's what really, you know, I I mean that's my problem uh, with the ghost with the next you no know, upcoming uh, ghost of game. I don't think that every single game has to have any kind of representation, be it woman, be it female, be it male, be it white, black, anything, dude. It, it's not uh, necessary, it's not a must. Okay, of course it is. I mean, when it's done right, it's amazing. For example, again, th there is there is this game that I was just playing, uh, the trailer, like Treads of Time, you know, it's an upcoming JRPG that kind of pays homage to Chrono Trigger. And if you Pay attention, if you look at the characters, it is pretty diverse, you know, we have a black girl, we have a, 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 a brown girl, we have white girls, we have a white guy, you know, it's pretty diverse and it's okay, it's fine, nobody's complaining about that, you know, but some games, you know, um, you know, for example, Gears of War, again, Gears of War is a game that at the very moment they started you know, trying to force down Kate as the protagonist, as the face of the franchise into the outroads, I lost my interest, man. Gears of War is not a game for female protagonists, I'm sorry to say this. Gears of War is about testosterone, it's about a bunch of dude bros, you no know, shooting aliens. I don't want the, no woman in a game like this, nah. No, it, it, it's almost like you no know, um, asking for a female rainbow <laughs> in an action movie. No, this is not my kind of stuff. You no, know? I like female characters, but not in this role. Not in this role. And yeah, I know I love aliens, but you no, know, hear me out. Hear me out. I'm not a big fan of Vasquez. Okay, I said this. I just said this. Anyway, it's the same. It's the same thing with Ghost of. Um. Samurai, bounty hunter, running this kind of stuff in that era, dude, it can't be a female character without breaking their immersion. No, uh, unless you don't want your game to have any kind of historical accuracy, and which is not the case in the you know, in the franchise, like I mentioned earlier, um, it's part of the appeal of it. Oh well, I mean, yeah. So that that's my two cents about the subject, you know. This is why I, I, I didn't like the change. And I feel like, you know, many people would agree with me. Again, I'm not claiming that the game is going to be woke or DEI. Though all the signs are there. You no, know, all the signs are there. But let's wait and see. You guys you guys know who I am. You know, I don't like getting ahead of myself. Let's first wait and see what they're going to do with the game in terms of you no know, narrative, gameplay stuff. Let's see what this character, this new character is about. And yeah, we can take our conclusions our conclusions after we see this, okay? Uh, I'll be watching for this. No, I'll be watching so you guys can always check my opinion if you guys want. That's it. That's uh I, I think I, I expect that you no know, I I was clear about you no know, my ideas in this. You no know, uh, if you guys have you no know, any questions or just want to talk about the subject, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. And if you guys like what I do over the YouTube and you no know, want to support my work and everything. 
go check my buy me a coffee link in the description also um make sure to check the didetected.com website we have a donation page over there so check that out too and yeah see you guys next time ciao ciao